A jolly good ship launch is a glorious sight to behold. The moment when it's poised and ready to rush suddenly down the lubed up launch track is an exhilarating and full of anxiety for everyone watching. Will it land safely? Will it float? Were all the calculations correct? All exciting and valid questions, and then the release, and suddenly it's all about the huge splash and massive wave that follows. Oh, such fun! But what about when these things go wrong? And they sometimes do. From a fancy ocean liner tanking it before it even got into the harbor, to a multi-million dollar yacht tipping over seconds after she was launched, here are 20 ship launches that went horribly wrong. Number 20. SS Principessa Yolanda it's probably just about the very worst thing that could possibly go wrong at the launch of a brand new shiny ship. It sinks. Not only is that the actual opposite of what you were hoping for, but it's also extremely embarrassing for everyone involved. Surely even the spectators blushed on behalf of the shipbuilders at this shocking blunder. The SS Principessa Yolanda was an Italian ocean liner, not that she ever made it to the ocean at all. It was built for the NGI Shipping Company in 1907. Now, this was a pretty fancy ship. She was, at the time, the largest ever passenger ship to be built in Italy and cost an astounding 6 million lire to construct, which was a bunch of money back then. This luxury vessel had been much praised and highly anticipated, and when she was ready to launch in September of 1907, a lot of fancy people turned up to watch, including government officials and foreign journalists, as well as a lot of looky-loos. Everyone was looking in the direction of this big shiny new ship as she was launched down the slipway, and at this point she immediately began to wobble like your auntie when she's had three glasses of sherry at Christmas and then healed sharply to port. And that was that. Despite the best efforts of tugboats and rescue crews, the ship could not be righted again, and she began taking on water. At this point, she was really sinking, so the captain and crew had been working on board were forced to take to the lifeboats. All would be saved, but the sad ocean liner was deemed unsalvageable and suffered the indignity of being called a wreck and getting broken up on sight to become the major parts of another vessel. Aw, oh, ship. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Well, this is a sight that nobody wants to see, a colossal ship apparently heading straight in their direction. But that's exactly what happened to these fishermen who were working on a fishing boat off the coast of Japan when the huge Chinese ship Shinyo Sawako crashed into them. A terrifying thing, and the trouble with ships is that they generally turn very slowly indeed and move slowly, but without much hope of stopping them so you would have to watch this monster vessel heading towards you for an agonizingly long time before the impact, as if it were happening in slow motion. As always, share your thoughts about this crazy image in the comments below using the hashtag fancy topic, and now let's keep things moving. Number 19. Government ship launch looks badass, but goes crazy wrong. When ships are launched, it kind of looks wild. They're sort of dumped rather dramatically sideways from a dry dock, down a greased up launch track, and into the water. It's often quite a spectacle and puts a lot of new stresses on the ship as it takes its first full plunge from dry land into the depths. That is when it's really tested for the first time and everyone involved in its construction crosses their fingers and really hopes that they got all their sums correct. Now, it seems that someone doing a write-up of this ship launch may have found themselves a little bit confused. Perhaps they didn't know what a regular launch is like. I mean, it is rather more exciting than you may expect, so they may have got the tiniest bit carried away when describing it. The launch actually went exactly to plan. 
Nobody was hurt, although a few people may have received a soaking, but that's par for the course. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration ship the Reuben Lasker was launched at Marionette in Wisconsin in 2012, and it made quite a splash. Just as you would expect from a hefty vessel like this, it went down its track and entered the water, dispersing quite a lot of it in the direction of the quay. In one particular shot, it can be seen giving a small group of people a rather vigorous wash, but that's about as dramatic as it got. The reporters should probably watch a few videos about ship launches and get their ship straight. Number 18. Ship launch gone wrong almost crushes dock worker in Netherlands. Well, mercifully, this is a ship launch that went right and only nearly went horribly wrong, but it was a hairy moment, that's for sure. The 90-meter-long cargo ship called Tasman was launched at a shipyard in the Dutch town of Hugenzand back in February of 2019. The massive vessel was up on the frame while the dock workers pulled the correct machinery to allow it to slide down the tracks and make its first appearance on the water. Plenty of people had gathered to watch, as is customary. It's also pretty fun, since these big boats make quite a show of it for the crowd. As the dock workers began to remove the ropes and the ship started its pre-launch wobble, a worker was in a really precarious situation right beneath the sliding 3,000-ton ship. His quick reflexes would allow him to roll out of the way and narrowly avoid being crushed. You can almost hear the whole crowd collectively ship themselves. Number 17. Ship almost tips over during launch. Well, sort of. This is another fairly regular launch, to be fair. The ship in question is a very large one indeed, and that sort of size can cause quite the spectacular show. It seems as though there are a lot of near-hysterical sorts out there who are just freaking out whenever a boat is launched in a fairly regular, albeit jolly exciting style. Which is how they do it, actually. When the ship is launched, it plummets into the water with great exuberance, finally getting where it was born to be. That it arrives with a splash seems like an obvious feature of a massive steel object making contact with a body of water. The ensuing wave is also a fun feature. This is why people enjoy going to watch ships being launched after all. This particular launch, which apparently took place in the Daman shipyard in Romania, was a rather exciting one. The ship took a regular sort of plunge and then teetered giddily in a manner that, to the uninitiated, may appear as though it was about to tip over. But you know, ships are literally built to right themselves in water, and that's exactly what this one did. No drama. Number 16. New Build Symphony Provider Gets Stuck During Launch now here's something closer to an actual ship launch blunder. Finally something we can all get behind, and get a jolly good soaking from, if it ever launches that is. To be honest though, sometimes stuff goes a bit wrong, but it actually isn't terribly exciting and it certainly doesn't warrant anyone getting all dramatic about it. This is a case in point. The ship was all ready for launch, everyone was waiting with anticipation for that satisfying launch and splash. They pulled all the pulley and levers and then a big fat nothing. No clattering down the ramp, no worrying wobble, no splash, no tidal wave, all in all just a bit of a letdown. What appears to have happened is that the bow of the ship got stuck even though the stern was well on its way. This happens, things can't always run perfectly in synchronicity I suppose, and as the ship slips the hydraulic pins that hold the thing in place had malfunctioned in the bow end of things, so that threw a spanner in the works. Luckily ships have been launched since before there was such technology, and some bright spark in the shipyard managed to give it an all manual twiddle and set everything nicely on its way in the end. Nothing wrong with a bit of a manual to finish things off satisfactorily. That's how you handle your ship. Number 15. Newly built cruise liner hit a bridge in eastern China. 
Now this one is embarrassing. One of the big rules when driving your brand spanking new ship around is to make sure it will fit where you're trying to put it. So this blunder no doubt had a few people sporting a rather fetching red complexion. The brand new cruise ship named Pearl No. 7 was soon to discover that it might not have all the luck implied by its number. Straight out of the gate, this shiny new vessel encountered a rather public difficulty when the captain managed to steer the ship right into to a bridge. Ouch! Two of the ship's funnels were unceremoniously squished, and the boat got a teensy bit dented in the process. Now, it's bad enough if you clobber your old truck on the infamous 11 foot 8 bridge in North Carolina. <laughs> you know, the one that peels the lids off of trucks as if they were cans of sardines? It's hilarious! Me and my pet guinea pig Twinkle watch those videos all day long. However, if you're driving about in a $44 million cruise ship, then you'd better have a very good excuse indeed. Luckily, no one would be hurt, and even the traffic on the bridge didn't appear to notice. That says a whole lot more about the structural integrity of the bridge than it does the captain's navigational skills. Number 14. Ship Accident During Launching Back in 1997, the U.S. Coast Guard was super excited to be launching their new icebreaker. It had actually been over 20 years since they last had a shiny box fresh boat for this purpose, so it was an event. They pulled out all the stops, a brass band was busy playing some rousing maritime music, a crowd had gathered to witness the spectacle. There was a gaggle of dignitaries perched on a high platform for all the naming shenanigans, and things were all extremely exciting indeed. So the ship began sounding its horn in the most persistent way. This is all part of the excitement, you see. And they pulled away from the supports, sending the whole jolly lot hurtling its weighty frame at full pelt towards the water. This is the best part as the ship plummets waterwards and everyone waits to see that it floats and doesn't tip over or something daft like that. And there it goes, over and over from every possible angle, the big boat plops into the water with a super satisfying splash and a colossal wave. Oh yes, the wave. They seem to have forgotten to factor that into the equation when they were balancing all those people atop that pedestal. Whoops! Oh well, ship happens. Number 13. Warnings Before $10 Million Yacht Sank Sometimes these things do actually go horribly wrong, much worse than a splashed local celebrity. This launch went completely belly up, and in a boat? That's not a desirable position. Back in 2014, there was a fancy $10 million yacht due for launch, and it was all ready to go. The champagne had been duly smashed on its side, the clapping had commenced, and the vessel was being slowly lowered down a ramp towards the harbor. It turns out, though, that this particular method of launching a boat of this size and scale is not the best approach. In fact, the original project manager had raised concerns that the high profile of the yacht would make it too unstable during the launch, so it should have come as no surprise when the whole flipping thing slowly and inevitably tipped over as soon as it was launched. The team worked all evening and apparently managed to right the vessel after its blunderous beginning. Number 12. Boat Sinks at Ramp Back in the spring of 2019, Black Point Marina in Miami was treated to a free comedy show when a boat launch went sideways. What appears to have happened here is that a bunch of nincompoops got together and attempted to make a plan to pop their boat into the marina. Only they didn't think things through, and no matter what they tried, things just kept on getting worse. Even the seagulls couldn't stop laughing at these clowns. First, they loaded the little boat onto a flatbed tow truck and then decided to launch it into the marina directly from there. Not the greatest idea. They simply pushed the stern straight down into the water, causing it to begin filling up. So then they tried a different method. A guy leaps on board and begins to maneuver the vessel, which is a bad idea because now the little boat is leaning dangerously to the side and taking on yet more water. The boat continues a slow sinking for a while, 
and then some bright spark with a bucket attempts a really feeble bailing out. But you know that's not going to work. To add insult to injury, a fun boat arrives and pulls up behind the stricken vessel, blasting its party music. And I can guarantee you that my pet guinea pig Twinkle was on that boat. In the end, the poor sad boat is hauled back out of the marina, and everyone just ends up going home. No oh, such fun. Number 11. Overloaded crane carrying a boat topples over in dramatic video. Forget about boat size, sometimes you just need a bigger crane. This crazy video shows just how wrong things can go when you attempt to pop your boat into the water with the wrong sort of crane. It really does go spectacularly wrong. This video would be filmed in the southeast of Russia at the River Lena, where a team is attempting to lower a large and clearly rather heavy vessel into the water by the docks. The 50-ton crane that they're using suddenly seems to have no weight at all when it suddenly lurches over, dumping the boat into the water and battering down on top of it. Neither of the two things seems to come out of this encounter in any kind of shape. The boat is semi-submerged, not to mention trapped under a crane, and the crane, obviously, is dangling precariously over the edge of the dock, all arse over tit. Luckily, nobody was hurt in the incident. No doubt it took a series of bigger and bigger cranes, you know, like Russian dolls, to put everything back to where it should be. Number 10. Cargo Ship Launch Fail when this newly refurbished cargo ship launched out of the dock, you could almost see it beaming with pride, looking all new and shiny. The engineers and shipbuilders behind the resurrection of the vessel all stood on the dockside and applauded as the ship took off. Then she seemed to suddenly have a change of heart, all that confidence failing her, and she rapidly took an unscheduled and somewhat embarrassing lean towards the starboard side and, well, just kept on going. This is evidently a case of a catastrophic failure of the calculations for the required ballast in the ship. Generally, the toppling over of a vessel like this can be put down to the need for more ballast at the level it is supposed to sit in the water. If a ship sits too high in the water, it's at great risk for simply being unable to balance. And that's not a feature that's desirable in any boat, whatever the size may be. Number nine. Luxury Chinese boat launches and sinks immediately. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that when something is extravagantly expensive and has had all kinds of monies lavished upon it, then it is intensely embarrassing when it fails to perform. For the people who have been spending all that money, that is. For the rest of us, though, it's actually kind of hilarious. Like this luxury leisure boat in the Gansu province of China. It was highly anticipated and estimated to have cost over two and a half million dollars to build, so it was certainly not your average rowboat. Anyways, back in 2011, the vessel was newly launched, and although details are not especially forthcoming, it is evident that the whole jolly thing had a bit of an issue and wound up in a pickle with its backside side submerged in the murky river. The trouble is that when something costs a bunch of money in the first place, and this boat cost a whole lot more than the investors were actually happy about, people start asking questions and then it becomes a whole thing. Let's hope that nobody got in too much trouble over this one. After all, some people just find themselves ship out of luck. Number 8. Massive Boat Launch Fail well, I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to enjoy all the bonus crane fun that we're getting to enjoy over here. Nothing like a good ship fail followed immediately by a crane ditching it into the water behind it. I've never known such excitement. Here we have yet another example of why you should take care to do your sums properly before you go swinging boats off of cranes. It is standard stuff to be honest, but apparently it's not something that everyone manages to pull off with complete 
success. As the crane hoists this sizable vessel over the edge of the dock, it is a tense moment, and then it becomes apparent that the whole thing's about to wind up in hot water. Well, cold water, but it's definitely not an ideal situation. Hopefully the crane driver managed to make a successful escape because this was a situation that changed extremely quickly from a regular day behind the controls to a nightmare in which you drop a boat, flip your crane over the side of a dock, and then tip the whole jolly lot into the water. Spectacularly unexpected. Number 7. Idiots destroy a perfectly good boat by dropping it into the water. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with the integrity of a boat itself, just with the brain of the people who are put in charge of said vessel, like this unfortunate incident. Now, there's generally something pretty satisfying about a good ship launch. You know, the way they basically shove it sideways down a ramp and create a bloody great big tidal wave in the process. It's super fun. But lowering a little boat into the water doesn't have the same thrilling anticipation, really does it? So how do you make the more boring but seemingly easier technique into more of a spectacle? Well, you cock it up. And those in charge of lowering this boat into the harbor did the sterling work in the cock-up department. They excelled, in fact. As the perfectly decent boat is slowly lowered towards the water, they suddenly drop it. And if you drop a little boat from a great height, well, it has some consequences for that little boat. In this case, the whole thing flipped over and did a most spectacular capsize and sink combo. No doubt that really ship in someone's Cheerios. Number 6. Crane Truck Deflection Causes Boat to Overturn uh-oh, here comes another crane. It is beginning to seem as though when cranes and boats get involved with each other, the results are messy at best, and when they get really bad, they're bordering on the catastrophic. So what we have here is a vessel being launched into the water from on top of a small plateau. The launch is being conducted by the use of a crane truck rather than with barges and tugboats. So as we know, there is a whole bunch of stuff that can go wrong when you get your crane out. As is the way of such things, it all seems to be going swimmingly until the very last moment. Everything is coordinating, so far so good, but suddenly the crane truck does a complete twist and lo and behold, the crane is not heavy enough to take the full weight of the boat. Seems like we've seen this story before. Anyways, just as you would expect, the boat tumbles into the water and capsizes in a most dramatic swoon. Fingers crossed for all those people who started out the occasion on the deck of the boat. Number 5. Two Cranes Drop Boat Into Water we're having so much fun with all these crane shenanigans. Why not look at yet another video of a crane failing to deposit its load in a timely manner? Oh, I like you guys. So as a special treat, you can have a video with not one, but two cranes doing a whoopsie. Don't say I've never given you anything. Really, it was my pet guinea pig Twinkle's idea. So these two cranes are trying to launch one ship when things go awry. I'm not really sure what kind of mathematics need to be done in order to figure out how much a crane can lift, but I was fairly secure with the knowledge that someone knew what they were doing in that department. Now, after watching so many crane-based calamities, I'm not so sure. This boat launch goes pretty much the same way as the others we've seen like this. One of the crane is overloaded, it teeters momentarily before tipping all the way over, and then it dumps the ship into the water. The other technique of pushing the ship sideways down a ramp is really beginning to look like the most reliable way to float your boat after all. Number 4. Rope Snaps During Launch of Scott Explorer in 2019, a ship launch went a bit sideways in a shipyard in the Dutch port of Hugazand. The ship in question was the Scott Explorer. This wasn't the sort of exploration the ship designers had in mind. But that's right, this ship rather enthusiastically explored the concrete wall of the quay after the ropes being used to hoist the ship towards the water snapped. 
No doubt there were some sums that didn't quite add up in this equation as well. Now I'm no maths genius, but there must be some calculations to measure the amount of force that can be placed on a rope and pulley system. So as you can see, the rope snaps at the stern of the ship, and then that causes the hull to collide extremely vigorously with the quay, and the ship's paint job was visibly damaged, and the wall had seen better days. Number 3. Boat Crash at Lake Havasu Sometimes you do have to wonder what was going through a person's mind when they do something that looks like they were, quite frankly, gripped by some kind of madness. This weird crash is the case in point. When driving a super snazzy, brightly painted lime green and purple boat, it's usually best not to make a spectacle out of yourself. Because you know people will be looking, they can't miss your psychedelic ass. So this guy seems to be reversing his vessel out into Lake Havasu, Arizona, no doubt with a nice tasty lunch of a fat sub on board, and then something goes a bit wry, and he nudges against the edge of the quay. It's not so bad, you may say, but then suddenly he's flying forwards back towards the slipway at a great speed. The rest is then inevitable as he smashes into the slipway. The boat then completely exits the water, can anyone figure out either what he was attempting or indeed how this went wrong? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Number 2. Russians Fail at Launching Barge Well, here we go again with yet another crane boat launch blunder that is no doubt about to end in tears. This time we're apparently in Russia, watching a bunch of dudes wandering around underneath a very heavy and not to mention precarious looking barge that they appear to be attempting to hoist into the water below. It is wobbling all over the show, but nobody seems overtly concerned by the situation, and that just adds to the sudden and absolute excitement that ensues when the chains break and the big boat takes a spectacular tumble towards the waves. It really does a proper job of crashing into the water below. It doesn't just splash down, it takes a big dive and follows it up with a capsize move that steals the show and makes the whole event extra dramatic. Just how we like it. Given the surprised expressions on the ship workers' faces, I'd be inclined to say that they did not intend this to be the outcome of their efforts, but I may be wrong, as I don't speak Russian, and all the words that are being exclaimed during the incident are very much in Russian indeed. Number 1. Pickup Truck Sinks in Lake on Live Television well, whoopsie, this is a red-faced kind of moment. You're really only supposed to launch the boat, not the truck as well. And this one really got launched, like all the way. So just what exactly is going on here? Well, it appears as though the news reporter is standing in front of a regular small boat that's being launched into Lake Springfield, and just as they do every day. Except this one doesn't go exactly according to plan. Both vehicles end up in the water, one more than the other as the pickup truck slips completely beneath the surface in just a matter of seconds. It is going to take a whole lot of drying out to redeem that truck. Apparently the ramps get all covered in a kind of slimy algae and that leads to vehicles sliding all over the place and often into the water. This one was especially dramatic because it had a very steep drop off, so that truck just ditched it completely into the lake. Water bummer. Well, did you enjoy all those unfortunate mishaps? Which one of these blunders had you chuckling the most? And have you ever seen a ship launch, even a successful one? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.